All right. Hey, guys. What's up? It's Bull through with Nilly. How are my adventures doing? Just woke up, so my commentary is going to be a little bit lackluster. It's always lackluster when I wake up. But, um, oh, yeah. We're supposed to be turning on all these missions. Okay, they're already on. Are you still what we were doing last time? I think so. Okay. Um. Okay, we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. We're really not going all the way around. What is this pathing? That is not the shortest route game. Like, please, for the love of God, stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it tried to make me go all the way around again. I I will not accept this blasphemy. I have to check this mailbox because apparently I have things in auction. I didn't even check as soon as I uh, was about to log in, to be honest. So I'm curious what all sold. I do have to go to auction and put this stuff in, to be honest. I say, if I was to sell this at a normal vendor, it would actually be a lot less, funny enough. Most people do buy the equipment to feed to their uh, sprites, too. That's also another way that you can sell these as well. A lot of people buy them to either feed to their sprite or dismantle. Some of them buy them just to dismantle as well. So there's a lot of uses for, like, just blue dungeon equipment. I'm curious, what's all in here? Before we actually uh, start our grind, because we still have to talk to Ronald. Or Roland. Where did Ronald come from? Oh, yes. Ew. Oh, damn, I want to go... Did everything sell? I think everything sold. Oh, oh, hold on. Um, a lot of equipment sold. Need to start making pages. Okay. Not too many pages left. I just set them at the default price the game puts them in. I never like increase their cost or anything. It's because it's dungeon equipment. Shouldn't be worried about it all that much. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um. Okay, questing. Roland. I said that's just another way to make a little bit of gold is uh selling dungeon equipment instead of like just selling it to a normal vendor. Those are up there. Should I do it, just do it the same way I did uh, the other area? Maybe I should. I don't know. Uh, I'll take a poke at some enemies and see if they're part of the quest. Okay, this is needed. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. What is the sprite, man? Huh. Oh, it's... I don't have any potions to increase your happiness, so... Just be like that for the rest of the day, please. Uh, nothing to increase yours. You're already too low. Well, guess I'm doing the sprite list. 
I dislike sprites. Oh, what the hell? How did I somehow activate world chat? Where did that come from? Not that. I need this quest anyway for our, the order one. God damn it. Again? Why? If it's anywhere close to the bottom, it just says, you know what? You don't want any music. <laughs> Am I sure I don't have... Yeah, I don't have mute on. Why does it keep doing that? That's annoying. Stop. Please. For the love of God. I keep wondering why it's always quiet, and that's that's exactly why. Uh, hold on. What talents do I have? Oh, I can just change to this now. No dungeons where it reflect going on. How about saying hello? Damn. I said I was pushing the pickup key, but it was not having any of it. Like, you guys heard this, right? I'm literally spamming it. Is is the servers delayed again today? Is that what's going on? is done. I need one more bronze for his item. Come on, game. Jesus Christ. Okay, back to Roland, and I'm pretty sure he's going to give us the quest to fight um, World is N6. That is the same rate. There's just too much of a pain in the ass just to switch uh, forms. Oh no. They give us a different quest. What would end is probably like a... Um, Rare boss, a rare monster.
Do I need these walls? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I might as well get them out of the way. While well, I'm here. I guess an item quest. I gotta say, as long as the game's gonna be nice to me with these these lag drops. Is there more? Oh, there's more all the way up here. How much, um... Eh, not very much, to be honest. Not very much. One of these days I'm gonna not be lazy and farm, uh... Reputation. One of these days. Will it be now? Probably not. Because the crazy thing is, when you think about the reputation system, you don't ever think that you're just gonna go back. <laughs> well, by the time you get done with reputation, you'll probably out level all the items that are in there, right? That's that's kind of what it feels like. And no player is going to just sit there and max out those uh, reputations just like that. Now, maybe if if you're thinking of it from like a reincarnation perspective, that is that's a thing. But we only have one reincarnation. And plus, the sprite scenario would more than likely be useless to us, especially the higher levels sprites for like higher how dare you for a higher um... well I guess the higher level of it did, did I run out of mana oh I ran out of ammo that's what it is I was about to say excuse me okay we'll have my sprite craft that while I'm doing this I would not higher level reputation I mean higher level um higher reputation is what I want to say by the time you get to higher reputation you probably won't even need it anymore and no player is going to be interested in like sitting in one area farming it unless they are new players and you know going for reputation and that's the difficult thing. Not everybody's trying to get reputation for every last altar to sell inside of auction. Because one, takes too long. Because, like I said, sprites take forever to collect stuff. I say two, there most most of the time isn't important things in there unless you're trying to max out your archive. And good luck trying to max out your archive <laughs> because that's going to take quite a long time, especially for each reputation as well. I say the only thing I would say in reputations would be beneficial to like max them out would be the potions, like any status potions that are in there or stat potions. That would be the only thing I think would be very good out of there. I'd say the costumes in there, well, the sprite uh, outfits in there are good for archive. 
um, benches in there are good. The talents in there are pretty decent. But that's only if you're willing to put in the time and effort to get those. Especially as like a new player who's interested inside of Reputation. Reputation takes forever to get up. Just because each each um S's well power doesn't really give you too much. So it can take hours on end. And like I said, it will hold your progress. I need these two. No. Unless you're a completionist. If you're a completionist, that's perfect for you. Because in earlier areas, there's not many quests to just, you know, downright do that. <laughs> and keep you occupied while you're, you know, farming the stuff. Okay, really? It missed? I thought it was going to do something. Okay, no, it didn't. So I never really understood the scaling of reputation, honestly. If you're gonna have it. I mean I know it's MMO, you're you're grinding, but I guess if they add in reincarnation two or three, that would be great. But I'm pretty sure don't you keep your sprites during like um reincarnation? It's been a while since I've reincarnated. A long while, actually, since I reincarnated. If you keep your sprites, I mean, there's no point in making a new sprite from that altar. So I would think it's, yeah, it's mostly just for, like, potions, if anything. Potions and uh, archiving into your collection. But yeah, if you're a completionist and want to do that, hey. I say go for it. Most players don't waste their time with like the early game altars. That's why you don't really see them sold inside of an uh, auction. I will tell you this. Um, the ones that do sell is the ones in here. Inside of these, this area. Inside of Knights Valley and inside of um, Eternal Mountains. Everything for the Frost Altar sells because a lot of people come here for this. Now I could put in a few points in there and not get 200. And you need like 25,000 to max it out if I remember correctly. And plus titles. Titles is also a thing too. Forgot about that. Oh, I forgot these existed. Yeah, the power stones also are in here. They're pretty expensive. Just for level ones. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. I guess the other thing you'd want inside of the altar is... Are these? If you really cared about emblems. But most of the time is going to be your your four um, blueprint. That's what I was thinking of. I don't I don't know why that didn't come to my head. Your talent blueprint is all in here. There's a lot of reasons why people come to this altar 
and try and max it out at least to 16,000. Because 16,000 is where it should stop at. But they get get it to 16,000 and they grab all of their stuff they need here. Only unfortunate thing is I wish it was account wide. <laughs> Honestly, because redoing this as as somebody else as a different character is quite annoying. These are just, this is just stance points from from my point of view. Things I would do. I know they would never do it. As I said, I don't, don't even talk about it. I know. I know. I'm not a business person, apparently. Oh, that was... Uh... Oh no, that was just a normal field boss. Should call them field monsters because they're technically not bosses since they can be stunned. Go to the item, thank you. No, I'm just gonna have to start pushing on them and getting them there. Because apparently, uh, pick up item is delayed. What else? What else? What else? We got that. Uh, is that anything that's around here? Oh, that's all the way back there. Wait, what? They from? Oh no, they're from the worms. The worms just didn't drop them. Okay. Nice, that quest is done. I could put on a new one. Or so I thought. Never mind. Oh, that quest wasn't even highlighted. Well, tracked. Duh. Okay, this quest is done. Oh, nope. Surprise, there's seven apparently. Oh, wait, that was it for that one? Okay. Wait, did I save my soul here? No, I did not. I probably should. Yeah, I could. I should. <laughs> Meanwhile, the lesson I tell you guys is to always save your soul. And I'm just completely avoiding that. Never know, man. A world boss can just spawn in front of your face and smack you silly. Not the first time it's, it's happened. <laughs> Definitely won't be the last. Because where are we at in fame right now? Oh, 
Oh yeah, repeat quests is also a thing too. Repeat quests, um, I believe, is out of this area. Well, some repeat quests are different for some reason. Some repeat quests give different reputation. I don't know why it's a thing, but it is a thing. So you could be in this area and it will give you like gel reputation. Oh, I missed that item. It's not necessarily a bad thing, to be honest, because if you can farm up repeat quests, that'd be great. Oh, wait. There was, was an item that dropped. The freaking item pickup just didn't see it. Apparently. Either that or it was still bugged out. Do I have to right click it? Is that what's going on? Maybe I'll just right click my gather instead. Maybe that will help. Maybe my keyboard is the issue here. I say there's an item there. I, I do not see it. This is also why you should always have a uh, loot item up. Because um, there, some items do go inside of like clip outside of the map, clip inside of walls, stuff like that. I've I've talked about it before. It's it's very useful. Always have it somewhere on your on your hot bar. Especially when you can't see it like that too. It's just very convenient. Ah, oh, nice. Yep, transformation. Don't care. Get me out of it. Uh, this is achievement item, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. And that didn't drop anything. I need one more. I was like, but the reputation system is nice. It just, yeah, think about like the scaling of those, <laughs> of those altars, and how fast players level. The players' habits, at least, because they ha the players have very strong habits to level as fast as possible. So that's one thing that's that happens a lot. As soon as the player gets the strong urge just to start leveling, they'll they'll skip a lot of things. And once like veteran players begin to start skipping those things, well, start leveling and getting more experienced with the game, they're gonna start skipping that stuff too and only focus on the better altars. Especially if they know they can start completing content, like 
pretty easily without the lower altar items. So focusing on this altar is a beneficial choice. And wherever you're farming your tomes is also a good choice too. Because if you're farming your tone, you're just passively stacking up all those items. Then, I guess, well, yeah, as a gold source for everybody else is doing the same thing, the same altar, farming those to help people also finish that altar is going to become a thing. And nobody's going to just be like, hmm, okay, time to do these lower altars and maybe a noob will buy it. That's not gonna entice any any new players to buy it because altar reputation is already like pretty high. And you gotta think about it. Versus a stack of where is it? A stack of these being like well 250, the stack of these being like uh, there we go. Being like 2,000 gold or selling for 2,000 gold. Both versus like grassland altar power. That wouldn't make that wouldn't entice anybody to just go for that because it wouldn't make them very much money because no new player is going to buy those altar pieces or those ultimate power ultra powers altar lost powers. Brain, please. Because <laughs> if you're a noob and they put them in like 2,000, it's just going to be wasted in there. It's going to be a waste of gold for anybody to, you know, try to sell it for 2,000. Unless you're selling to like, you know, higher levels that are trying to max it out. But there's ever going to be, it's always going to be a rare situation to where those higher players are like, you know, farming those so the more you put it in the auction the more gold you're wasting so the lower altars kind of suck <laughs> I'm curious what what was the highest for the lower altars actually for their reputation item I gotta go see that because it probably could be a lot better, but I just never checked the altar because I never need anything from it. And no new player is going to think about altars. They're going to think about quests and leveling. That's also another thing. We we totally skip those old altars. I so say you give us the quest to talk to them, but we never do. But we never deal with it. I say most of the time newer players are just like, oh, look, an altar. All right, that's a, that's a quest area. I say you never give us like the quest to collect those. Well, uh, like always, the tutorial thing comes back into play for altars because, like I said, newer players won't think about altars and reputation and stuff like that. Visual, visual learning is a huge thing, obviously. Text learning is. It's a low thing because most new players won't read it. Most players, well, some players will read it at the start. Then they'll, then they'll get the gist of it. But most players will not read a lot of things in MMOs. It's kind of why important things are like voiced as well for newer MMOs too. But like I said, this is this is an older MMO to where, you know, this stuff was like very common. 
Always very common. The only reason I'm talking about this stuff because I, back then I did have a channel dedicated to MMOs. And so I played... Well, I had... Well, this channel here was dedicated to MMOs. Then MMOs started to die off and I stopped really playing them. The only reason I'm talking about this is just because I, I played a lot of MMOs. And... And basically, a lot of MMOs that are around... Oh, well, were around Gravitage's, like, era. You know, kind of died off because they didn't have, like, a... They didn't have the drive just to keep making MMOs because they didn't see a profit in it. And that's actually a, a big risk with a lot of MMOs anyway. MMOs have the biggest chance of out of any genre to cost a lot of money and immediately fail. That is how MMOs work, unfortunately. So that's why you rarely see MMOs now because servers are very expensive. As a like a talked about if you guys have ever seen power worlds like cost of their server 500k a freaking month i said that that's theirs for probably just being expensive because a whole bunch of like players coming in but you also got to think about mmos like that's probably like half the price they're paying or even a portion of that price they're they're paying that's still a lot to keep a server running and if Wells aren't enjoying it, then they're going to leave. If there's a lack of population, Wells aren't going to enjoy the game and they'll leave. If free to play players don't exist, Wells don't exist. Just because you, you lose that social, and there's just only Wells talking to each other. And it's always the same type of player because. The wells don't need help grinding. Because they're just going to pay their way through it. Uh, where is this? All the way down there. Okay. Just a lot of things to think about when it comes to, like, making an MMO. I'm not... This isn't aimed at the Grand Fantasia, also. This is just, like... If you're interested in making an MMO, there's a lot of things you gotta think about going forward into that. Because MMOs are very, very costly and really can't be made with just a few people, honestly. Because let's say if you make an MMO, it actually pops off. Think about it. You're going to have to keep up with that content because it's now labeled an MMO. People are expecting updates after updates after updates and have high expectation of those MMOs just to come out left and right. It's like, okay, new grinding phase, new, 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 like power up systems, stuff like that. They're expecting like active updates, like new stuff, like within the month every month it's like that because there's always been like a whole team behind those MMOs and once there's a whole team people start to get get like really really thirsty for content so it has to be like a big update every month something people are interested in Hell, most of the time people are like, all right, this game does maintenance every week. Why don't we have a lot more new stuff? What's going on? And the crazy part is, like, let's use Dragoness as an example. Dragoness is still doing, like, actual lot of con like content coming out. I say I used to play Dragon Blaze, like, a few months ago, like seven, six months ago. And they, they were just pumping out content left and right, even doing, like, a lot of events. Like, it didn't even have to be, like, be, like, a holiday event. It was just, like, boom, here's here's an event 
for like this costume, this costume, just stuff like that. As long as you kept events up and they were like interesting events and gave like some cool rewards, you were golden. Because people were focused on those events that lasted for at least a week or a month. All right, I'm back. Family wanted me to do something, but uh, I don't know what I was talking about. We were talking about MMOs and that whole situation just kind of took that away. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. Let me just go ahead and sort that. I need to start selling a lot of this stuff. Well, these aren't useful anymore. These aren't useful anymore, so yeah, I can start getting rid of those. The next time I t touch like a merchant. Anyway, out of the whole MMO thing. Since I don't remember where the last conversation left off. <laughs> Wait, where is this quest? Oh, I'm already in the place where I need it. I don't know why I'm walking through it like there's nothing here. Part of me does like playing MMOs with uh, friends, like a group of people. That's kind of why we were playing um, Grand Blue Fantasy uh, Relink. Just because it's actually treated as an MMO. A dungeon instant MMO, basically. Boss Rush as well. Well, no, mostly Boss Rush uh, co-op. I would say that, if anything. Less of dungeons, to be honest. But it is instance based. I don't know what's going on with my keys right now. Why are there so much delays in my keys? Okay, there's not a delay when I'm pushing pushing it without an item being up, but there's a delay when there is an item. Okay, and there's a delay inside of my skills as well. Is it just better to right-click? Have I been doing it wrong this whole time? Okay, yeah, it feels more responsive when I left-click my skills instead what i never realized that i've been doing grand fantasia wrong for a while apparently why is it more responsive when i'm right clicking huh You learn something new every day, apparently. What the f... Okay, it was responsive with the keyboard that time. Is... Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> I'm actually messing with myself, apparently.
maybe it's just the servers playing random with me. Okay, maybe it was just server lag. That's what I'm gonna guess. I'm pretty sure it was just server lag that that was going on. Goddamn, how far away was this item? Uh. I was useless anyway. have everything for that yeah this is a item that goes somewhere stop this stop this blasphemy cease put that out that's another quest item, apparently. But that's also a thing. Um, if you ever want, like, any of your talents, just go for fours. Fours are decent. Six are great. Six are harder to, fi harder to find inside of the talent blueprints, but I would say go for fours. Fours are most, mostly in altars. Any altar that has four uh, talent blueprint, go for those. That's fine. Those are actually decent. Trying to get the drop, drop chance for those scrolls is absurd. <laughs> Gotta find and collect data on them now. Um, okay, I gotta go over there for that quest anyway. Um, go through this way. Where are these quests at? Okay, they're on them in the yellow. Great. Still need to figure out what, what's going on with this one. What is this? Doesn't like a quest I remember. So I go talk to Marlon. I guess we'll do this right after I'm done with this. Because the next area after I'm done with this would be Oblivion. Bo no. No, it's not Oblivion Border. Oblivion Border has a different level. It will be, <laughs> be Frostplake Forest. That was a combat recorder. 
that's all it is. So we gotta just kill enemies. So that's another thing that sells for quite a bit too is uh rare material from mutated dungeons. I wanna say it sells like a lot a lot, but it sells for quite a bit. But it's mostly the higher level content ones that sell a lot. Most people like to trade outside of auction. That's also another thing. Just because they don't lose gold, they keep max gold. But here's the thing about trading outside of auction. Most people will be looking for clay as trading price instead of like gold. Because that's how the game's economy has changed. Honestly, if half of the stuff that they're wanting was through Dungeon Drop, <laughs> that economy would be instantly countered. Well, not everything, because then there is those, um, what are they called? Nucleus? Nucleus shouldn't be do dropped by Dungeon, if anything, because those things are, like, very strong. They're basically like an infinite potion that you can use every hour. And if it's like buff potion, you can use every hour. And it'll last for an hour. I can show you guys an example. Um, right. Where do I keep those? Others? Yeah, others. They're all these. Like this gives you 10% intelligence for uh 60 minutes which is an hour for a whole hour it doesn't consume or anything like that this item does not consume on use it goes on cooldown uh i don't think i have any inside of here that i know of. oh i do have these um yeah this 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 is one of them it lasts for 60 seconds I can just right click. Never use this. And there you go. It's it's on cooldown. And it just is infinite infinite use. It never consumes. Stop that. Oh, and the buff stays on too. That's also another thing. But the skill itself goes on cooldown for a minute. Well, there's different type of nucleus, to be honest. Each of them have like extremely powerful buffs. Each of them do something different. Uh, the two that I have, this one summons a pirate to fight with you for three seconds, which it's basically fucking useless because all she'll do is do like one or two hits and disappear with a long as fuck cooldown. So that's obviously one of the more useless ones. So it's inside of here for collection. Then you have this one that also does something for three seconds. Uh, this one doesn't go on cooldown for a long ass time now, which is decent. It just decreases damage taken. It doesn't tell you how much damage you'll do. Oh, this dude. Yeah, all he'll do is like one hit and die. So the best ones you'll see oh wait what oh i guess he does summon a lot more than just because that wasn't <laughs> huh that was not 60 seconds okay the what nah what does it does the thing itself goes on cooldown for 60 seconds okay i think the the crystal itself goes down for 60 seconds. 
I think that's where the 60 second cooldown comes into. I don't think it's like summoning the dude. It also doesn't give you the chance of proc either. It just tells you there's a chance of proccing these. But the ones that are the most popular ones are these. Like this one gives you 15% movement speed and this one gives you... Yeah, these give you 15% movement speed. Some of them give you 10% will, 10% intelligence. It just really depends on which one you get. You can also put them inside of uh, the E table, which gives you extra stats for just putting Nucleus in here. You can also sacrifice Nucleus if you don't have if you have too many as well to increase the buff of these Nucleus that you put inside this table. That is a well table. That is for wells. And in game, well, and in game players who make a lot of gold. So good luck. Good luck with that. It's good luck. <laughs> so that's all I can tell you, really. Honestly, I can tell you more than just good luck getting to that table, maxing it out. You'll probably spend, I don't know, years on that table because it, guess what? Aha, Nucleus go for at least 30,000 gold. Hell, sometimes even higher. I've seen people sell them for 70, 72k. So, you guys can't see it, so I'm giving you a, a thumbs up and good luck with that. <laughs> Probably something you shouldn't even really touch because the rare ones that are like very low are barely sold too. I'm, I think you can craft some. I just don't know how. I'm pretty sure you can craft, craft one of them. That was never explained to us how to do that. I wish the Grand Fantasia devs would worry about the YouTube channel and making tutorials to help players out, but they don't, unfortunately. Because you would think they would know their game a lot better than we do. In certain situations of things we really want to know. I guess if you really wanted to know something, you would just contact customer support and ask them how to do it. <laughs> but the question is, like, would they know how to do it if I asked? So that makes me, like, very curious on what they're able to, to like, tell me. Wait, oh, hold on. Is this the quest line from Bazin Kazlau? I don't think so. I was wondering, is, is this quest just that long just because of that? I doubt it. I doubt it. I really do doubt it. And the devs aren't, comp aren't the problem for, like, the community. Well, the, um... Hold on. It's not the the devs' fault for like the what's the word that I kept using? Dang, it was in my head and I instantly forgot the word. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Not the devs fault for the gold problem that's going on. It, it's mostly always the players that end up causing that issue, honestly. The economy, that that's what I was gonna say. The economy, that's that's the word I was looking for. Is that for the next area? Uh, let's see. This is for No, that is not.
I was wondering if that was the next area because of the teleport stones. I'll say there hasn't been really too many teleport stone stones that I've I was thinking. Oh yeah, these ancient stones and stuff are pretty heavy too. This is for red gear. This is just a buff stone that does not consume, so it's another permanent buff item. But you can only use one divine stone at a time. I tried to get one on my druid, but then I ran out of money and I couldn't get one because <laughs> it was sell for like 6k and I was sitting here like, OK, dude, I don't have the time for that. <laughs> so I just said, screw it. I give up on that. But yeah, a lot of players sell a lot of things that aren't in auction house. That's for sure. It's mostly because they don't want to risk like putting it inside of auction and not selling because it like I said, it only lasts for a maximum of two days and each day times the fee for going inside of auction. So that's gold wasted on their part and they're trying to like, you know, keep as much gold as possible, which is understandable to be honest. So they personally prefer to like, you know, just straight up sell it face to face. Or COD. COD is the most popular way to sell items to avoid, you know, scamming. Unless they're trying to trade for clay. Clay is a different story. If you're trying to sell an item for gold, COD is the best way. You would just go to a mailbox, go to COD, put in the item, send the price, then boom. There you go. And the player would have to pay that price to get that item instead of, you know, going through just trading face to face. But if you're trying to sell it for clay, that's a different story. You have to have to meet face to face to trade that. Wait, did I really walk all the way over here just to turn in that quest? <laughs> I did. This is even a quest that I need. <laughs> I don't even think I need anything down here. Oh, yes, I do. Golems. Damn, golems still look ugly. Even though they're just reskin monsters. That's just basically every MMO. No MMO is going to be unique in that area. I say people take price cuts and... Well, that's the game development altogether, to be honest. Because most of the time, they you got to take, like, shortcuts to finish the game faster. So sometimes you got to have the same model. Sometimes you can spice it up a little bit and change that model's little skin, too. Oh, yeah, he just summons no matter what. It, it makes me curious at how much damage he does, to be honest. I feel like that guy would kill me if I tried, but... I didn't summon at all. He was, he was just like, you know what? No, I don't think I will. I don't think I will help. That would have been... Like, I don't plan on using Nucleus at all, to be honest. Because I feel like they're... A little bit too strong and plus players normal players wouldn't be able to get their hands on them like early game like that unless they truly like goat farmed like they're worth getting like they are really worth getting because it's infinite it's an infinite buff so if you ever see a nucleus and it's in your price range and you need it and has like a really good buff that you want it's worth getting just because that's going to stay on that character for pretty much forever. And you can archive it. 
and use it on every other character as well. I say all of my nucleus are on my druids. I didn't bother to, you know, put those in my archive. Even though I could, most of them are inside of my E table and my druid too. And the E table, you can just take them off of there as long as you don't sacrifice them. That's a different story. If you sacrifice them, you're not getting those back. But if you just put them on the E table, you can take them off at any time. I'm not sure how high the E table even goes either. I bet you it's something absurd. But that's that's a long, long grind to max out Nucleus. Or the E-Table itself. Oh, that was a boss I can just keep revisiting. I never got to test this uh, Nucleus. I just got it and just never used it. They respawn? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, damn. He did. He still's not bothering to come out and help. Damn. He said, "Forget you, bro." I ain't about to help you. But yeah, a lot of RNG involved inside of the more unique nucleus. Uh, they also tell you like how you can get them too. Acquired from uh, at the very bottom, it tells you how to acquire it. A lot of the items in here, in the in the top region up here. Is out of game items, not not item mall items, game uh, items. Tell you how to get stuff. Back is back to school event never really shows up anymore, right? I say there's a lot of rare items that you probably won't see anymore at all ever again. That a lot of players probably have. Well, a lot of older players probably have or had considering that you know people probably quit and didn't re-register their account i'm i'm still wondering can players still transfer their account as of right now because i'm pretty sure it was time limited to where i don't think you could as you can well you actually can't see it some dude is selling like Myth Enchantment 7s for 5 clay. Each. Like I said, clay is going to be a huge thing that people are going to be selling left and right. Just to be able to do the table. Just nuts to me. I think that's also another thing that scared off a lot of new, a lot of like older and new players is the whole clay system too. Well, no, not the clay system itself. Players selling items, <laughs> items for clay. I think that also like kind of scared quite a bit of people away. Then a lot of people have been waiting on reworks for a long time. And I guess they felt like they were going slow. Like every time you look at like the Facebook posts. Like if you go like further back before Mage Evolution even happened. Or Rework. I don't know why they called it Evolution. But Rework. Mage Rework. Um, there was a lot of just, just like angry people. <laughs> just posting every time. Well, in a lot of terms of the game's population. <laughs> Which is wild. Which is very wild. It's like... They'd just be happy that they came back and decided to, you know, start updating the game. Because we weren't going to get fucking really good updates or reworks with Arena. 
with no not arena arena area games area games where it's going to help touch that shit if anything area games is more i hate to say it area games is more of a leech publisher to be honest like i hate to say it but it's 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 like that I'll say they weren't good. Most of their games they don't even touch or help with, from what I've seen. Maybe they helped with, like, you know, keeping the games itself up or, you know, shouting them out. But area games popularity has been dying off very fast with how many games they've already gotten rid of. So you just got rid of all those popular games. Area games just started plummeting. Oh, wait, is this them? Oh, yeah, that's him. Makes me very curious of, like, is Eric Games even still alive? Oh, that's something I could sell. Because that isn't mine. Oh, that is mine. Oh, it's for Meteor Shower. Nice. That was actually lucky. That was actually very lucky. Wow, even I have luck? That's crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot. Airy Games changed their name. Now they're now they're what is it, Glyph? Would you ever want to publish with somebody named Glyph? Like think about it. Glyph. <laughs> but then again, I don't how how much stuff does Glyph even have anymore? I was like, does Glyph have anything? Like, good? Let me... Oh yeah, I was looking up this earlier. Let me go ahead and see. What, is, what does Glyph have? Glyph has Trove, Riff, and a lot of other games I've never heard of. They have Wizard 101. Is that how Wizard 101's been living? It's GIF. <laughs> Is well not gift lift. Is that how that's been going? I don't know actually. It's crazy to me that uh they don't really have any like really good games. I mean they have a very old old game which is uh Fista? Is that what it is? Fista? That's another very old traditional anime style game. Trove is a well buggy hell. From what I remember. I mean, it's cool that you can like get community weapons, you know, stuff that people like make and design. I mean, that's always, like, really dope. But from what I've heard, it becomes really, really, really well heavy. Like in later game. Then again, I, don't, I, didn't, I haven't played Trove, like, that hardcore, to be honest. I was like, I, I used to keep up with area games when they had, um... What was it? Uh, Defiance. Like the older Defiance, not not the other BS that they tried to pass off. As like Defiance 2. I don't know why the fuck they made that. But Defiance was like an old TV show that was decent. Then it fell off very, very quickly. Other than that, damn. Airy Games had had X Legend for a long ass time, didn't they? Then Airy Games started combining with Glyph and I guess things went south which made Airy Games want to jump ship. Could be. Maybe they just didn't agree with like a revenue split. They didn't agree with like some sort of like rule or you know term of service. Maybe they had a contract that they've been trying to get out of for years. 
and just randomly, you know, maybe they were in a contract with Area Games and it transferred over to Glyph and they've been trying to get out of it ever since. And as soon as their contract expired, they jumped ship. That could also be a thing as well. Nobody really knows. These are just like things that could have happened. And things that do happen, man. I mean, maybe you just don't like the way a publisher is like doing something. So you want to take the quickest road out off of that little uh, shipwreck before it gets worse. And maybe, yeah, the revenue split split thing. A lot of a lot of places do 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 the revenue split. So that is like a heavy thing that publishers do. I say if you want to avoid that, good luck. <laughs> Because it, unless you're making like a lot of money yourself, excuse me, it's like basically like a good luck thing. Because sometimes you do need a publisher, sometimes you don't. It really depends on how you tackle it. And most of them, most publishers are only good for marketing, not much of making money for your game. They are mostly there to promote your shit. That's how most publishers are now. You get, they get paid happy, well, a little bit of your revenue for advertising your game because they have big games under them or they're well known. If they aren't well known, you're probably going with a terrible publisher. <laughs> Honestly. And the sad part is publisher are also leeches for like image wise let's say if you publish under uh what's a good one let's say if you publish under damn what's a really good name that everybody knows Sure, we'll just use area games as one. If you publish under... No, no, let's use Activision. Let's say you publish under Activision. This is a very common practice. People will always say, Activision fixed this. Activision did a great job. They'll never say your actual dev studio name at all because they'll never think about it because the biggest title on that startup screen is going to be... Activision. So that's also another thing you got to think about when you're getting a publisher. Publisher can take literally the face of your game. This happens a lot because Nintendo and Pokemon people are complaining that Nintendo does this, Nintendo does that. When is Game Freak? Game Freak is the one that controls all that. <laughs> Oh, damn, I didn't even level up through this area. But then again, I'm like levels above this area, so I shouldn't be leveling up, to be honest. Do I catch up to the next area? Uh, I am supposed to be heading to Oblivion, apparently. Oh, am I blind again? Oh, I think I was hovering over this every time I looked at it. Oblivion is next. Okay. Um, we're going to pretend like the last time I talked about it was a fluke. Oblivion is next. <laughs> I guess some, every time I started looking back at this. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it is because I'm hovering over this. Okay, so is this Oblivion border then this? This. Damn it, game. <laughs> Then when we're done with this, it will be level 80 for us, actually, at the end of this map. Then we will be going to the next map, which is uh, Deep Phantasm. I mean, they said they increased all the quests that are level 85, right? Not XP for 
every quest that is below 85. That makes me wonder, what is the XP like for all the quests above it? Because there are going to be a lot of level 100 quests. So now I'm like very curious at how this is all going to work out. I also still want to go see what that is. Actually, let's go see what that is now. Before we go to Oblivion, we'll just teleport back. Okay, you gave us a new quest. Secret Sprite. Wait a minute. Wow. Oh, I forgot this was a thing. Um, yeah, this is the next map, technically. I forgot what this map is. This Phantasm? Not, not Phantasm. Yeah, Deep Phantasm. I feel like this is Deep Phantasm. That was the way you got here is through Marlin. Is through that quest. So I guess after... Uh, you also can't right-click to get to the normal map from here, too. This is the normal map. <laughs> now, because you're inside of a new area. Report to objectives. I was hoping one of those got rid of this. Uh, guides never pop up, so that's always useless. Yep, this is Deep Phantasm. So, how to get the Deep Phantasm, Marlon, at level 71. <laughs> that is exactly how. So we're going to have that quest off until we complete level level 80. Where is it? Until we defeat our bay up here. As of right now, um, questing. If I would have done it the normal way, I would have came out through there or there. Okay. So... We'll grab this quest first. So next is Oblivion Border. Um, did not level. So yeah, this is the next next area. With that said, I'm going to end it off right there. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. I uh, hope you guys enjoy me rant ranting and yapping all the time. I'm sure some people get sick of it and just stop watching. And I just bitch about everything at this point. <laughs> it means nothing, honestly.